Hey guys! Welcome back to another busy day here in the Collins household. We are actually getting ready for our Big Bear trip coming up next week. So today we're just working on a couple things, getting stuff together, getting stuff ready and prepared. I cannot believe it's already here. Me neither. So one of the new things that we're doing this year is we're making matching t-shirts. Ella's gonna be my assistant. We are going to be getting the design finalized, cutting the vinyl, and then heat pressing it onto our shirts. So come along with us as we make some shirts today. Getting ready for Big Bear. Yay. Yay. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring those bell notifications. So you never miss a video. All right, let's do it guys. When our daughter was born, she surprised us with her Down Syndrome diagnosis. And at that time, we had no idea what our lives would look like. But we quickly discovered extra needs bring extra joy. Through the good times and the challenges. And the adventure and the routine. We're learning to live this life to the fullest. With, with a, a little, little extra. extra. So we've been taking a trip to Big Bear around the 4th of July every year for how many years now? It's been a long time. I have to, I'd really have to go back and look. This is a trip that we look forward to every year. You can actually go check out our Big Bear trip from last year. I'll link it right here for you. We didn't vlog that much there, but we did post a video, just kind of a highlight reel about it. We're gonna be vlogging a lot more this time and we will be vlogging with the crew run by my cousin Maddie, so I'll link her channel here too. This year we're stepping up our game and we're all getting matching shirts, something patriotic, something to commemorate this trip that's become such a fun annual tradition for us. Since we're doing shirts for the adults and for the kids, we have one design, but I have to tweak the sizes for each shirt size or at least each grouping of shirt size. So just worked on the first shirt, made sure the design and all the placement like made sense. And I got all the men's shirts, did those first because that's gonna be the biggest design. And now I'm just gonna like just scale everything in a little bit for the smaller sizes as we go down. And then as I get the size correct, I'll just cut the vinyl off. Ella really wants to help me weed the vinyl, which is pretty fun. It's very satisfying when it just like all pulls out quickly. And then we'll start pressing our shirts, which is the most fun part because you get to see it all come together. Making shirts is really fun. Working with the, I have the Cameo Silhouette Machine and it's really fun to experiment and play around with it. But it's one of the downsides of living in such a small house is that I don't really have an area for it. So we have a makeshift little workshop going here. We're using the piano bench. We've got the bar kind of cleared off. And then when I go to press the shirts, I'll clear off the kitchen table and we'll work in there. We just use what we got, make it work. Yep, let's do it. died about halfway through the process there but I think I just finished up the final cut so I had to make sure that I cut out the correct amount of letters and designs and all of that in each of the colors and the sizes so I think I got everything so we're moving our project now into the kitchen workspace number two we're gonna get our shirts they Ella had them folded so nicely but of course Estelle got into them so so we're gonna refold our shirts, get everything organized. I got my handy dandy little Cricut Easy Press 2. So I've had this for a couple years, works really great. It's not a professional level, but it honestly works super well and I don't have any problems with it. It's super easy to use. Got my first shirt here. Luckily, Estelle's asleep right now, taking a nap and Cohen's outside playing with Clifford and Devin. So. Trying to get this done before the babies come in here because it's almost impossible to do this with them all up in the mix. So, of course, working with a hot heat press, that's a big, you know, big reason I don't want them around. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can get this in today. That'd be awesome. 
I'm gonna use the heat press on the blank shirt once just to kind of get a little warm. Then I'll put the vinyl on it, get it centered how I like it, press it once on the front, and then flip it over and press it on the back. It's got a great little handy dandy timer on there to tell me how long I need to hold it on. And then once that's done, we'll peel off the like clear part of the vinyl and see if it needs any more heat on it. Oh, hi, Cohen. Sorry. Just in time. I got him. First things first is we're going to organize all of our vinyl. Ella's already got started on weeding some of it, so we've got some of the pieces here. All these pieces here, those are all cut with the design, but some of them have like multiple designs on one page, so we're going to cut them out. And then we're going to organize which pieces of vinyl go to which shirts so that we can weed it out and press them a lot quicker. When I'm loading the vinyl up on like the mat, I like to put as many of the design in that color on the cut at once so that I'm not having to like repress vinyl on the mat and like re-trim it and all of that. I just put the whole 12 by 12 piece of vinyl on there fit as much of that color design that I need and then just cut it out and then we'll weed it. So we have it all cut out of this of the sheet and then we have it all organized. So like this is all of the designs for the white shirts. These are all the pieces that go with the blue shirts. This goes with the baby shirts. The pieces here for the red shirts. All the elements for each size and color are all organized now. Now Ella's gonna help us weed it as I am heat pressing it. Okay, let's press a shirt. You ready? Yes. Okay, so we have about five of the shirts done so far, I think. Tonight, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get to finishing the white ones, because I've got two more left. So I guess we've actually done four of the white shirts. Haven't touched the kids' shirts yet. Um, probably gonna have to do those tomorrow and probably the next day too. Um, a lot of work, huh, Ella? Ella's been such- Very tiring. Very tiring. Ella's been such an awesome helper. So, yeah, you've been awesome. A couple of things that could definitely speed up this process is A, if we did silk screening versus vinyl pressing, and that is something that Devin and I have talked about many times. We just haven't made the leap and purchased the equipment for it. Devin actually used to silk screen, he used to work for a silk screening place, so he has all the know how, but that is on our list, so that would make these kinds of designs go a lot quicker. Another thing is to have a bigger heat press because my heat press is small, so to have a design like this, I'm having to press it in multiple areas multiple times and make sure that everything's on there nice. If we had a bigger heat press, it would just be like one press per shirt, and then the heat press is also pressed the back and the front at the same time, so that would also make it go quicker. But for our little operation here, that we just kind of do for fun as a hobby, it works well, we make it work, and it's always fun to be able to like dream up a design and create it. Watch it come to life. If you like these sort of DIY project vlogs, give this video a big thumbs up and we'll bring more your way. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much done with all of the shirts. Um, worked on them a little bit yesterday, finishing them up today. So I wanted to share with you guys one more little tip that I've learned while working with heat transfer vinyl in multiple colors, and that is to use parchment paper. So you use this on your design when you want to press it again. And if you have to like layer your designs or kind of position things to where you want to peel off your first layer before you do the next press, you could put parchment paper on top of the vinyl that you already peeled and it protects it so it doesn't get ruined by the press. I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
So this is Cohen's cute little shirt. Look how cute and tiny it is. So everything's pressed on here already and everything, all the clear has been peeled off. So I'm just gonna put parchment paper right on top, like this. I'm gonna take the heat press on top of that. And go ahead and just press it for the full 30 seconds if you wanted to. And then once it's done, you can take that off. Paper and everything is still good. So there you have it. There is how I work with heat transfer vinyl and how I use my cameo silhouette to make fun and custom like little shirts or some merch. So if you've never worked with vinyl before, definitely recommend it. It's such a fun and easy little crafty project. And I always love to just add those personalized special little touches to things like birthday parties or you know this trip for instance. So yeah, it's really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Little different peek into some of the things that we're doing around here to get ready for our Big Bear trip coming up. If you wanna see more about how we're prepping for our trip, maybe how we pack or what we're taking, snacks we're bringing, gear, anything like that, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the post notifications so you always catch the latest video. See you guys next time. Bye.